Good morning. Good morning from a rather grey Somerset. Sorry we missed you last week. We're busy finishing off Mabel. Um, she's now up for sale. We're debating doing a van tour. Um, if you want to see one, let us know. Um, we could try and Squeeze try and film, yeah, try and figure that out over the next couple of weeks. So we had some ideas that we wanted to use scaffold boards for the floor. We wanted to find some reclaimed ones, but we've just been messed about so many times there. Yeah. Joe's just got some from work, and we've got new scaffold boards which is lovely and they'll be all clean but it just means we've got a lot more work to do we've got to sand them oil them with the reclaimed scaffold boards i know they get more and more popular for furniture and stuff but i didn't realize quite how popular they got and i literally can't get hold of them i think i've organized delivery twice and been messed about so i just thought of getting new ones so this week we're gonna be lots and lots of sanding we're probably not gonna be too much over the boat just because we've got power here and it's a lot easier to yeah. do it at home but yeah so this is danny's first time seeing all the boards i so love them they're um they're real like what um like splintery aren't they yeah they're nice though they're nice color i think we're going to use like a a light slash clear varnish so it keeps it nice and light keeps the boat nice and light yeah i love them it's a fair few isn't there yeah are we gonna just do the front face and maybe the side yeah. we're not gonna have to do the bottom no. are we? we're just gonna have to figure out because it's gonna rain today and obviously we want to sand as many as we can but we don't want to sand too many so that we've got to store them somewhere and that we can't carry on varnish we're just gonna have to like figure out do say six and then stain six let them dry if you don't want like dust in the air. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Then that would be like a day's work then, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's How just... long do you think it's going to take us to do all these? Not a clue. It's going to be mainly, it's not the actual work, I don't think. It's the figuring out, letting them dry. Yeah. How many coats do they need? Are we just We're gonna just going to do one coat for now. And, and then, then when they're over the boat, yeah. let them climatise to the boat because they will move a bit. <clears throat> um, and then do another coat, a co probably another couple of coats really. I love them. Right, let's crack on. First, we're gonna light the fire because it's freezing. So before we start sanding, I'm gonna have to take the metal bands off the end of the boards, which is probably one of the most attractive things of the boards, and which is why people like them, because they look quite rustic, but we just don't need them. So, off they come. Yeah, it's going to be harder than we think. Fun, isn't it? Now we've got to decide what face is the best to have up. What one? This side? Yeah. More grain on that. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of splinters waiting to happen. Get a bit warm in there now. That's a P120, that's a P80. So the lower the number, the coarser they are. So we've got some 80s, 40, 40, 60, 60. Do you start off with a higher? A, a, course, a coarser one, a coarser one and then. One, yeah. I think 40s and 60s, probably a bit rough. Look okay. at Yeah. Two 40s. Two 40s. Some more 80s. I might start off on 80s.
first board. First board. I'll no, just send just another what to I'll just send to Danny that because they've been stored outside, they're still a little bit damp, so you can't get like a mirror finish on them, but hopefully as the day goes on I dry a bit more and Well I'm a bit rustic. Yeah. Have a look at the difference between a you can probably see it better up that end, but yeah. the difference, I don't know how well that picks it up, but... Looks good. Yeah, they're nice looking I'm boards. I'm really happy with the colour. Mm. Right. Now where are we put them? <laughs> sanded all of them there's a couple that we have left just because they're way too wet at the moment but hopefully we'll be able to do them tomorrow so these are the ones that are just too wet both sides we've got six seven eight more to go get enough and these are all the ones we've done we still have to go over them with a softer Four left, they're all a bit damp. It's not too bad. What was I going to say? For anyone wondering what timber they're actually made from, they're spruce, it's similar to pine, but it's not. Christmas trees. Yeah, Christmas trees. Sorry, Christmas trees. Tidy up. We have done sight. Oh. 
Right, now we're gonna have a tidy up. Now we're gonna have a tidy up. That's 20 we've done then. All tidied up. Winter Wonderland is gone nearly. Not quite. So we've opted for Osmo Pollux oil, high solid. It's like a natural wax based oil. Natural oil wax based. in the morning good morning everyone much nicer day today we've got about an hour here before we've got to head over to the boat we're meeting someone called kev who's going to measure up some side hatches for us um but before we head over i just want to introduce you to someone this is barry it's going to be our new handy assistant for taking materials over to the boat So the three we did last night have all dried near enough, haven't they? I can't. Yeah. Um, so we're going to try and do another three and hopefully they'll be dry for this evening when we get back from the boat. I told them about Kev's coming over to measure the mm -hmm. side hatches. Quite exciting. Oh God, might be able to do another three later on then. Yeah. All right then. game of waiting for him to dry because we ran out of space and then we're going over the boat in a minute aren't we? Mm -hmm. Going to make Kev. I'll make Kev. This is the finished product. This is what they looked like before. Get lots of splinters in your little tootsies if you walked on them. We'll see you at the boat.
but first we're going to pop a job. Was it an incinerator? No, it's just garbage. Yeah, Can we use that for compost on the back for food waste? Oh, like hang it off the back? Yeah. 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 What's that? 18, 19. So, whilst we're picking compost up from proper job, I realised I left our sealant at home. So, we have to go back home and then to the boat. Horse manure. Hi. Okay. Smells like horse manure. Right, back home now. Oh. Just, stinks of horse manure. Oh, is that what they are? Oh. We need to go into home base quick. Stinks in it. Cool. I forgot. Got some line, that's all they had left, just like all gone to line the hanging baskets and three more tomatoes, different types. Are they cute? Mm. Right, back okay. home, then to the boat. Mm. Mamma mia. Coffee, check. Sealant, check. We got better get to the boat. See Kev. Did you know that Jack and Jill is a real thing? And it's from Somerset. I thought Joe was lying to me because he makes up some random things because I'm quite gullible, but it's actually a town. Village. Village? So Kev has been, he's measured up the old leaky windows and we're going to get some side hatches put in so that is underway, that's a good thing. I'm going to seal the rest of the windows up because they're leaking just around the frame where it meets the steel. Then I might put the ignition switch on and I'm going to put the new belt on the alternator. What are you going to do? I'm going to make sure those boxes fit in the squares. Great. Right. Um, Don't try and make work for yourself. <laughs> We're going to use CT1 to seal the windows because it's made in the southwest. Is it? Yep. The Snag List Eliminator. It's from SeaTech Southwest. BT34. Northern Ireland. Belfast. <laughs> really southwest. Well, I like it because it's good. It's expensive, but it works. And you can apply it in the wet. Which in the is wet. quite good when you're in England. <laughs> oh, I can see it. Right. You're walking it then. Sorry. Oh no no no! Filming. <laughs> yeah. How not to do it? Yeah. What are we filming, Joe? On a vlog. Are we vloggers? I wonder by the time if this goes live, if we're gonna have 2,000 subscribers. Oh, I think so. Stop distracting me. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, oh no. Oh, that isn't worked at all. What are you doing? I'm trying to get it on the bottom. I don't think it's, it's all gone along the paint. As long as it keeps us a bit drier for now. I think it's more inside that's the problem. No, but obviously it gets through the, it, the outside, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll try and do the inside as well. The lighting looks very nice on you. Right, next. You haven't quite got your sea legs yet, have you?
running through the boat, you're rocking it. You've got a balance. Look at you, no hands. Can you run in? I didn't run anywhere. My hand? No hands. Yeah, no hands. Put them up in the air like you're on a roller coaster. That's not how you're like on a roller coaster. <laughs> So I've done the outside, I'm just going to chuck some more on the inside just to be doubly, doubly, doubly safe. Doubly, triply. Anywhere I can get to it anyway, because I can't be bothered to scrape the spray foam back today. Next on my list is to switch out the Lucas ignition switch, because ours isn't working. And I've got a new one. Bring a drill over. Oh well, I think it's wired up for now anyway. At least we can test it. Right. Should that start the boat then? This should, yeah. You've got one position. I don't really know what that does. <laughs> Two, you hold about 15 seconds on glow plugs. And then it's not 15 seconds. But... Yeah. Why is it not turned on then? It would have if I left the guide plugs on now. Sweet. We'll turn it on then. Why have you got to leave it that long? Glow plugs. You don't do that in a car. Well, no, you see a little light on a diesel come up, which is glow plugs, but because it's an older thing, you want to leave it just to make sure it definitely. lead off the start again. Yeah, lead leads off the start. Hang on. Next. Yeah. Belt's too small. We finished for the day over here. The things that Joe tried to do didn't work, so I'm just going to go home now. I'm going to plant my hanging baskets that are going to go here, lovely. No, no. Afternoon everyone, I'm going to try and get another couple of scaffold boards done today. Um, probably only three really because it's the afternoon already. Um, yeah. That is another week done. We just wanted to say before we wrapped up, thank you to Mark and Rob for the beer. We haven't been to a pub recently, but when we do, cheers. Cheers. See you next week. See you next week. You coming up? Oh. Me and my mate Henry VIII have the same birthday.
Yeah. Okay. High five. Oh. Finished with the today over here. Say it again. We finish for. We finished for the day over here. That's a bit too enthusiastic. Okay. Is it on? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you say that or not? Message. Oh. No, go on, you go on. Me?